ए वेलकम बैक अगेन टू न्यू वीडियो गेस्ट संपत्ति वाचिंग संपत्ति सांफेक्स यूट्यूब चैनल पोको एफ आई फाइव जी कस्टम रोम रिव्यूज बैक विद सेयर ड्रॉड इन द फ्लैशिंग मेथड व्हाट आई फेस द प्रॉब्लम इज द जी एप्स वर्शन इज नॉट कंपेटेबल विद दिस पर्टिकुलर रोम लेटर आई फ्लैश विद बेसिक जी एप्स देन इट्स वर्किंग फाइन दैट्स ऑफ गेस्ट देर विल बी सिंपल प्रॉब्लम बट यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट एक्सैक्टली द जी एप्स रिक्वेड एंड अगेन आई रिकमेंड गेस पीपल हू आर नॉट इन दैट गुड Uh, flashing custom roms are recommend to flash the g apps build available roms i also recommend the developer to give both the builds the vanilla build and g apps builds hence the problem will not get done next time anyhow uh, that's the thing what i faced standard version is 14 here again shared version 10.2 february 5 2024 vendor security patch level is also february 5 2024 kernel user is 5.10.209 No 912 Narsil kernel build date is February 18. Latest build available for this Poco F5 5G guys. Uh, Tyler again due to that Nick G apps. I got this basic G apps. I got this dialer. Usually for C R Red there will be a different dialer guys. Uh, that's replaced with this one. And camera application here you get this one as you can see. The hyperos camera in the video. 4K. Yeah, let me go into 4K and 60fps options are given here. In the photo mode, you get all these options. Yes, and more. You get all these effects and uh, stickers here, which are working fine. No problem regarding that. This is typical home scan. These are the quick settings toggles. In the edit section, there are plenty actually. NFC is there. Location and dark theme, extra dim. I don't want right now. Sync option is there. Yeah, you need to drag and add here. This thing should change in Android fifteen. We will speak about that in some of the video. Dolby Atmos Xiaomi parts are given here. FPS info is also given. I will enable that in order to show how the adaptive refresh rate is working fine in this particular ROM. Let me show that also. Yeah, let's go back here and turn off this. Yeah, Dolby Atmos is required. Location turned off and yeah, FPS information turned it on. Now you guys can see here real time FPS count on the left, right, uh, sorry, in, yeah, left top corner. <laughs> Anyhow, and this the settings will close here. Yeah. Now we'll see some results. What I got here, it was interesting. Fifteen point seven is a single score. Four four two seven is a multi score. What I got, Linux five point one zero two zero nine, no nine one two Narsil kernel. This is the version information. This is the read write speed test with graphical and with numericals, and this is the DRM information. You get Dolby Vision here. No need to worry watching OTT applications. L one certified, and this is the internet connection speed via Wi Fi, and this is with five uh, G. And this is the CTS profile match getting passed, but Play Store is not certified. What kind of bug? I don't know. And this is the score. What I got? Ten lakh eighty four thousand three twenty nine is the score. Temperature is actually it was down by one point nine degrees Celsius, and four percent of battery has been dropped. And charging rapidly support is there. Gradually it will increase the wattage here, but it is there. And this is the camera photo. That's all the results what I got. And if I press and hold here, home settings, CR launcher, you get CR dot launcher. You get the restart, recent apps, memory information, screenshot, other things. App drawer again, you get plenty of options here. Let me enable this theme icons here. Many times I want to try that wallpaper and style again. Let me enable here also the theme icons. You get these options. Lock screen customizations are given. Anyhow, that's fine. Clock style and size, those things you can do. Home screen change wallpapers. You get this here. The wallpapers. Yeah. Now it's in themed icons. Really, really good. The implementation is really fine here. That's the uh, home settings what we get here. Now let me go into settings and show you the actual setting. That's the battery. You get thermal profiles, battery saver, no extreme battery saver. This is the battery usage. You can see. This is the apps what I'm using currently. Battery optimization are given. And charging control, if enable that, you get three modes, and you can see the cycles, battery starts also. You can see for individual apps. 
sound and vibration again everything is fine here dolby atmos is given there are plenty of options once you use the wired headphones guys you will get some more options to enable that those are working fine no problem regarding that play speaker option is also given display settings again extra dim screen time dark theme again let me enable and check out yeah pure black option is there that's cool in my opinion they need not to miss that and live display again we got reading mode color calibration rgb strength you can just sorry not the rgb let me go again yeah rgb strength itself and show those display settings yeah tap to wake and sleep per app refresh at minimum keep it 60 okay peak 120 anyhow this is the options what you get uh, all purpose on the same access built menu again flash notifications other things you should check out these accessibility settings those are handy security and privacy again face unlock and fingerprint unlock as you can see the fingerprint unlock is very very fast and then all the face unlock it's also fast unlock your smartphone using that and regarding this one the app lock features yeah app lock is also pre-included in this particular ROM no need to worry regarding those things and say android settings here you get plenty of customizations it's very much customizable ROM. You can see quick pull down off right left. You can even always show quick settings on status bar pull down. That also you can make tap to sleep again. You can enable from here brightness control if you want to adjust brightness by sliding across the status bar. You can do battery bar if you enable that. You get plenty of customizations again. And battery percentage, battery style you get similar here. Logo style again you get plenty of options. I kept CR right here. You can position them, colored icons and media projection privacy. Other things you can check out here. Just enable, you get those options. Status bar icons, enable or disable from here. Quick settings, header image. If you want a header image, let me choose something dark enough. Yeah, this is a dark one. You guys can see now the header image has been changed here. You can actually customize them. For example, this one, as you can see, that's the customizable guys. Header image and select local image. You can even select the your own image. Show on landscape. You can want. You can do that. Padding. You can do height and opacity also. You can adjust again battery style, percentage, hide keys on screen, secure lock screen. That you can do dual dual tone theme, background colors. You can find, you can adjust the opacity of background footer when to show position haptic feedback and auto brightness icon qv style style qv panel style you can change actually qv style style and other things you can check out here if i again go to lock screen there are plenty of customizations media cover artist given battery info weather settings you can once you enable that you get all these options again these are some gesture shortcuts navigation again you get all these options here buttons you get all these options user interface again you get plenty of options here too ambient display if you want to disable you can disable notification sound miscellaneous settings you get however it is 90 fps supported for poco fm but here you get option unlimited photo storage in google photo swipe to three finger screenshot is also given this is about cr drive we'll come back here into system into the gestures into gesture navigation you can see adjust the pillar and thunder radius that's also there here this all the customizable here see red it's very very smooth and responsive is not as smooth as a superior is there will be a difference between each and every rom case definitely i will tell that in any of the video but this is a different experience here you get something customizable but it's not up to the level of some other roms but still if you are in cr droid kind of things you can definitely use this rom you'll see the bgmi gameplay and wind up this video guys You guys can see the graphic settings set to smooth plus 90fps ultra HDR, HDR options are also enabled here. No need to worry regarding that. You can also see the real time FPS count here. I hope you guys can see. Again guys, don't just judge the continue like uh, complete gameplay here. It's just a uh, idea you get in this particular room. It's definitely if I am in Conqueror or Ace, the difficulty level is next level those things makes difference definitely i do understand that even in classic matches yeah. 
that was the counter attack there was no lag you can check out the fs what was the fs during that counter attack then you will get some idea Yeah, that was very close. I will come back here. That's the BGMA gameplay experience in this Air Droid. Yeah, this is good ROM. You get some extra features here. Like you can change this one and you can completely make the themed icons. And the gaming experience is also fine here. This is the apps and the app opening time I will show you. This is how the recent apps are. The vibration haptic feedback strength is also fine. The stereo speaker suppression and their volume is good. You get the direct sound settings. You can even utilize the Dolby Atmos here. Everything is fine. If you want to use it as a daily driver, go ahead and flash this ROM, guys. I have no problems regarding this particular ROM. Uh, that's the review of this CA Droid for Poco F5 of the Redmi Note 12 Turbo. If you have any specific questions regarding this particular ROM, comment down in the comment section, guys. We'll be meeting you with another interesting video. Until that, keep smiling. Bye bye for now.